So the other day I was listening to the MacBreak Studio live uh, webcasty thing from Petaluma about Final Cut 10.1. And I was chatting in the side window with Rob Parker. Rob, this video is for you. You were asking about how do you do timecode overlays in the Final Cut 10 and have it actually be like the timecode of the media and not just the timecode of the clip. It's a little bit of a cha-cha-cha, but here's how you do it. So here's a piece of clip, here's a piece of media with time code. And if I um, if I bring this over, you can see there's my time code. It's hour three, and then this one is hour four. Okay. Now you might a lot of people think that you know you don't really get to see that code in Final Cut 10, but you actually do. If I skim it here, if you look over at the center window, you can see it's actually now here. I was early in the clip, so here's actually the time code of the clip. See. Now, if I roll my window down into here, I all of a, I all of a sudden get the time code of the timeline. So it's a little bit of a trick there. Now, there's another thing that you can do. Actually, this is what I'm saying. So you're here, and a lot of people will like they'll pull their mouse down like that, and all of a sudden I'm looking at this one. Now, so to, to another way to look at the time code of the clip is if I go into View, Show Skimmer Info. Now it shows me the name of the clip, the keyword that it's associated with, and most importantly, the time code of the clip. And the other thing to keep in mind is I, if again, if I come down here and click on this guy, I can actually, you know, type in a, a time code number and it'll jump to that. And there's a keyboard shortcut for that. I can't remember what it is. It's uh, actually, let's figure it out. Let's figure it out together. I think it's like Control P. Yeah, Control P. Now, frankly, that's not a very good keyboard shortcut because it takes two hands to do that. You can, well, you can kind of do it with the other control key. But at any rate, there is a keyboard shortcut. Now, here's the trick to making a reel that has the timecode burn in for the actual um, timecode of the clip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this guy, and I'm going to go File, New, Compound Clip. Now, what that does, actually, before I do that, here, here's a good user trick. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to copy the name of it. Now I selected that by hitting the enter key. Hit copy, hit enter again. Come up here and go file, new, compound clip. And I'm going to call it paste hyphen window. Okay. Now notice the time code start is 25607. That's the first frame of time code of the clip. So it has adopted the time code of the clip and it's inserting that into the compound clip for this clip okay so i click okay so now that clip has a compound clip but if i double click on this and open it down here you can see that as i skim back and forth the time code is the time code of the clip all right now i'm going to do the same thing with the second clip i'm going to hit enter i'm going to copy the name i'm going to now do the keyboard shortcut which is option g i'm going to paste in the name go hyphen window and you can see I now have the time code of the second clip, all right? So now I have two compound clips. Each has the time code. Uh, each clip is the time code of the media that's in the clip. So now I'm going to come over to the generators window, and I'm going to just type uh, time code. Well, that's all I needed. I'm going to drag in this little guy, and I'm going to just take this, and I just lay this on top, and I drag it out the length of the thing. I think there's a keyboard shortcut for that, but I didn't know what that was. And now you'll notice the timecode reader is the timecode of the clip. It is the timecode of the sequence or compound clip, but it's also the timecode of the clip. Okay, so now we're gonna I'm gonna just copy this generator because it's 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 actually reading the thing, and I'm just gonna hit home, paste it in here. Not quite long enough. Notice it's new timecode in the generator because again it's generating the timecode of the. Um, sequence, which is also the time code of the um, clip. Now, now that I have my multiple clips, I select both of these, I'm going to do option G, and I'm going to, for the sake of this, I'm going to call it time code all. And when I click OK, and I open that guy, now I have two clips in here, one, two compound clips, one has hour three, and when I roll over here, one has hour four. So each clip essentially is getting its own time code and burning it in, and at this point, I export this, I compress it, I send it off to transcription, all is good and done and, and handy. So there you go, Rob Parker, that's how you do time code filters, uh, time code reader of the media, not just the timeline. Later, later.